All right, ladies and gentlemen, following the release of Criminal Enterprises, the bunker now has four new updates that we're going to go ahead and cover in this video. We have two new sourcing missions for when you go to steal the supplies for your bunker. One of which is this one right here where you uh, kill a bunch of people, you commandeer their boat, and then you follow a titan as it drops supplies out of the, the plane for you. And then once you've collected all the supplies that they're dropping, you go ahead and just return it back to your bunker. The second new mission is actually very similar to a lot of the ones that you'll see in the motorcycle businesses, where you just go to a location, uh, kill all the enemies, and you'll steal the van uh, with all the supplies inside, and then return it back to the bunker as well. And then currently, this last two-week span, we've had uh, double money for your very first delivery um, from the bunker. So you go ahead, make sure you have somebody, by the way, when you're delivering bunkers, because I've never been able to deliver all by myself. Um, but once you deliver it, you do get a very nice... Um, award uh, over two million dollars if your bunker is full so highly recommend that you do that while we do still have that double money the second update that we got within the bunker is we at now have access to ammunition contracts so basically every 30 minutes uh, the staff who have extra supplies within your bunker will load them up and do the, a truck like this and then you just deliver it to one of the many ammunition locations around the map um, the very first time you go ahead and deliver it, you'll be given a basically triple money bonus. Um, so it'll be worth $150,000 once you deliver it, uh, like right here. But you can do this every 30 minutes. You'll just, every delivery after that will only be worth $50,000. So, you know, not huge money, but if you are just already leaving your bunker, going to another location, may as well take it on your way out. Uh, that's just another $50,000. The third update that we now have within the bunker yeah. is that you can call Agent 14 and request bunker research, and then he will send you to a location where a very heavily armed uh, and armored individual um, is fighting the cops, and then you have to go ahead and take him out. Once you take him out, you're going to go ahead and collect the research data, and he will deliver it back to your bunker. You can do this every 20 minutes, and then this will allow your team to go ahead and research stuff. Uh, while they're also making all the supplies. So you can put your team solely on supply production, go ahead and do one of these missions, collect this research, return it back, and they'll start researching for you as well. Yeah. And then the fourth and final update that we now have within the bunker is that you can again call Agent 14 and then request um, six different vehicles. Um, so I'll go ahead and show you each of those vehicles now. Uh, first up, we have the Zion Classic, just a basic sedan, you know, like you would see on the street. Uh, then we have what's called the Granger, pretty nice SUV, followed by the Mesa, nice little Jeep. Then we've got the Manchez motorcycle, we've got the Varus ATV, and then my personal favorite, the Caddy, which is just a golf cart you can absolutely mow down people with. So all in all, this update had some pretty big changes for the bunker. Hey, 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 